Hi everybody and welcome to It's All About The Dough and in today's video uh, Emma and I are going to be unboxing and reviewing a uh, pizza peel that we found on uh, Amazon. Uh, what kind of pizza peel is this Emma? It's Chef Pomodoro. Chef Pomodoro and it's a uh, perforated pizza peel. It's a perforated pizza peel. So it's an ionized uh, aluminum peel. Um, so this, uh, we, this arrived on Friday. So uh, basically we haven't un uncovered and unboxed it, so we're going to do that with you guys right here. And uh, let's see if the, uh, the price that we paid for this was uh, uh, worth buying basically, okay? Now it was uh, Canadian, it was $59.99. Um, and typically preferred pizza peel um, is going to cost you, you know, a good one. Typically it probably costs you about $100 or more, but because we're, you know, uh, in the home here and we want to uh, save a little bit of money then you know we want to try to find some good finds so if I find some good finds I like to share it with you guys and let you know if it's an actual good product uh, that you can use in your home all right okay so let's get this unboxed here moments there are right, you going for the, the big guy right there there you go you want to show everybody that there you go okay let's set that aside there and um, yeah, it looks, uh, looks brand new, no scratches, no no markups or anything like that, so the packaging seems pretty good. Okay, we can get rid of that. What else we got here? Uh, okay, so I, I guess you gotta put the handle together. Uh, all right, where is my, uh, all right, so anything else inside there? Nope, nothing else inside there. Okay, so uh, I like the way they, they package the, um, the handle here. It's got sort of these, uh, these plastic mesh things on the shoulder that kind of opens up and goes so it stretches. Yeah, there you go. And then you can turn it back. So that's good. So that's going to basically protect the packaging. Uh, so, you know, it's not going to get knocked around or anything like that. So I do like that. Pretty smart. All right. So this is the, I'm assuming this is the top of the handle. Mm -hmm. And this is empty, Emma. There we go. All right. So let's put all that stuff aside there. Okay, so, um, okay, I understand. So basically, if you're looking to just use uh, the short handle, you can just pretty much uh, hook it up there like that, put it on. And I think for most users, the short handle will probably be the best option. I know for myself, uh, using it in the uni oven, this is the best option. Now, if you have a bigger oven, um, you know, bigger pizza oven and you want more room then obviously you can use the extension there okay so basically that's about the length right there uh it's nice and lightweight this is uh clark hi clark hi. there you go he's got his apron on ready there you go say hi to everybody hi hi okay so there it is right there okay looks pretty nice and so let's see what it looks like with the extension on and i'll show you guys how to do that and then later on we're going to use this see how it uh how it uh, picks up the, the pizza and uh, whether it's worth the $59.99. All right, there we go. Okay, so, so what you want to do with the extension, first you want to put the extension piece on like that. Okay. There you go, and Clark got the other piece there. I have it in my hand. Have it in your hand. All right, so I went over over tighten it because I did read some reviews online that the, it was coming loose and I suspect that's probably from over tightening. As soon as you feel it snug, then leave it alone because once you over torque it, just like anything, it's gonna lose that uh, that friction. Okay, thank you very much. You can put it on, go ahead, there you go. There you go. Okay, so while Clark does that, then Emma's gonna put on the handle. Good job. So I guess you guys, some of you watch my videos have already uh, met my uh, my family. Um, this is Clark, and that's Emma, and obviously I'm Michael, and then my wife, uh, her name is Shanna, and she's actually got a video um, how to make uh, pierogies, yeah, which is really really good. So I encourage you guys to you know I might even just put a link in my uh, description. You guys can go check that out as well. Okay, so we're doing a lot today, basically. In a, 
put this together here and show you the length of that. And then uh, later on, we're going to get the pizza on the peel, test it out, see how it goes. Okay. All right. And I'm going to give you my honest opinion and whether it's worth these 59 bucks. Okay. Well, that seems, that seems pretty good. Gives you kind of a little bit of a height advantage, uh, sorry, length advantage right there. That looks good. Okay, again, preferably, I mean, uh, if you're using it at home, if you need that room, by all means, use the extension. And it seems pretty pretty straight and pretty durable so far. I mean, after a while of use, I mean, you're going to really know how it works. But we're going to come back and uh, I'm going to give you my honest review of how this uh, perforated uh, Pomodoro pizza peel. This is a 12 inch, I believe it is. Yeah, it's a 12 by 14 inch. Uh, Pete's Bill, and uh, give my honest opinion on that. Emma, is there anything you want to tell our lovely audience out there? Make sure you either subscribe, give a like, and give a comment so it helps us with the algorithm. Yeah, it definitely does, guys. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button as well. Okay, so we're going to be back and we're going to get some pizza on here, alright? Alright, welcome back everybody. And now we're here to basically uh, Test out the pizza peel that we got here and see how we do it. Okay, Emma, can you hold that there for me for a second for our dough? Okay, let's put that over there. Alright, this looks pretty good. Got our little scratch right here. Okay, so I'm going to get this all prepped up for you guys right here, and then we're going to see how uh, the pizza peel works, and then give you my honest review on the pizza peel, okay? So just bear with me for a couple of minutes here. So the beauty of the, um, the slots in the perforated peel is that it's going to get rid of that, that flour they use with the semolina because you don't want any excess uh, flour semolina in there because that's going to stick to your stone uh, or in your oven and it's going to burn. And you don't want that. You want a nice crust at the bottom, not a burnt crust at the bottom, okay? There we go. Seems about right. All right, let's get that sauced up. I'm going to load this pizza up because I want to see how the, uh, the pan, the peel does, okay? So what do you need? Some Parmigiano Reggiano here, the real stuff, the Poison Girls. Okay, not Parmesan cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano. There you go, right there. Uh, let's add some fresh mozzarella. Okay, put it on top of there like that. Pieces. Good. And then what we're going to do, let's get some uh, Capricola on top of there. That looks good. Like our Italian meat lovers pizza here. How's that sound? Okay, put some Genoa salami, some hot, some mild. We got the work here. We got the works. There we go. That looks really good, eh? And uh, you know what we should do? There, let's top this off with some beautiful black truss truffles. Truffles, look at that. Oh, look at that pop, boys and girls. That was fresh. Mmm, like, what a nice smell. Okay, let's grab one of them there. We're gonna have to grate this just like, like that. That's it. Okay, a little bit, not too much. Okay, there we go. That's good enough. Okay, and then what do we need? Let's put some basil on top of there. Why not? Right? How's that look so far? 
Perfect. We let's put some uh, olive, oil olive oil in there. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so now here comes the part for the pizza peel. Okay, can we have the pizza peel, please? Yeah. Okay, let's see how this how it slides on here. Okay, so what you want to do is grab one finger like this. Okay, pull and then slide. Oh, beautiful guys, look at that. Works like a charm, okay? Let's just stretch that out there a bit. Okay. Move that into a bigger circle. And there you go. Alright. Let's just give that a little shake, get an excess flour off of there. Alright. We're gonna be back in a minute and we're gonna get this pizza all cooked up. And show you how it turned out okay sounds good all right all right guys so we're back with the the pizza all cooked up nice let's just get up there get a little close up there okay look how beautiful that looks that's gorgeous all right so guys what do i think about this pizza peel well obviously you've seen it do the job it did it in uh, one uh swipe um very little flour and uh very little semolina this is a great product. I highly recommend it for $59.99. You can't go wrong. Um, Emma, any last comments? What do you think? Um, I actually really like it. I like how you can extend it. Yep, yeah, that's actually a good point. You can actually extend it and make it to your convenience. Uh, and it's gonna, it won't bust the bank. Because uh, then a lot of these pizza peels, the preferred pizza peels, can cost a lot more. Alright guys, thanks for watching.